Right, in today's vlog, my friends, we are right on the east coast. What are we doing, Jeff? We are driving from the easternmost point of England land, which is here, which is Ness Point, and we're driving all the way to the pretty much the westernmost point in Wales. We're going to St David's lifeboat station. It's 400 miles away. And we're chasing the sun. We are chasing the sun. The sun is about to pop up just behind the camera here and we need to get to St David's lifeboat station before the sun goes down. I believe we have eight and a bit hours of sunlight today. Shortest day of the year is tomorrow, but it only makes a difference of about a minute. Worst day of the year for traffic is today. It's a, at the very minimum, it's a seven and a bit hour drive. So there is not much margin for error if we're gonna get there in the daylight. And I've got a charge. And you've got a charge. Which is about 40 minutes to 50 minutes. Exactly. Gonna be tight. However, I'm gonna use Waze, yep. which is more up to date. Yeah. What are you gonna use? I've already set up my old fashioned Tom Tom sat nav. Right, I reckon I'm in with a chance here because I've got live traffic information. Yeah. So that's gonna help me out. I've just plugged it in, I'm gonna follow it and I'm gonna do the route that it tells me to do, which is roughly the route I wanna do anyway, but I will not know what's going on ahead of me where you will, that's the advantage. So can the future, sort of the present, uh, beat the past? We'll find out. I mean, uh, it's, there's a steam going on where I keep losing in my electric car. But today, I'm pretty confident. It should be an interesting one because there's just so many factors that come into play. It's not just about the cars, the traffic, the weather. We're going to have lots of different things to contend with. There's a lot of roadworks and then 20 mile an hour speed limit. So there's a lot going on in this little trip. It's not, it's not a little trip as it's 400 miles. It's going to be a long one. It's quite a long one. It is. I've got your live information uh, with where you are, your yep. live location. You've got my live location, so yep. we'll see each other across the way. We might go different routes because yep. my, my ways could take me a different way. Yeah. You are in a BMW. X5 three litre diesel from 2005 with 217,000 miles on the clock and a slight suspension fault. Right, okay, this is gonna, don't break down because we've got- I don't think it will, I think we'll be fine. Right. It's, it's a bit of a beast is my X5. <laughs> <laughs> I really rather like it. And you've got CDs. <laughs> and I've put CDs in, I have a CD changer. Excellent. And uh, I'm quite excited to just have a nice old school journey without this Spotify and all of this mapping apps. I'm just gonna plug in my TomTom -tom and listen to my CDs and get there. Right, well, we've got about 20 minutes before the sun rises. So, I'm gonna roll the intro, yep. then you're gonna show me your car. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, yep. if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Subscribe to this guy, it's Jeff Bice. Cars, his link is on the end and down below. Click the link in the notice, click the bell to get notifications for when Lee uploads a new video. That's it. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. So this is my 2005 BMW X5 3 litre diesel sport model, 217,000 miles. I first actually bought this car earlier in the summer and then I sold it and when I needed a car the other day, or yesterday actually, I remember that I'd been offered the car back and I thought I know what I'll use. I sent a little text message and I'll just buy that X5. I was going to buy it but I wasn't going to buy it till the new year. So I sent a text to Simon, I said, Simon, any chance I can grab that X5 tomorrow? I'll pay you. So I went on the train yesterday and picked it up from Simon in Derby, 217,000 miles on the clock, automatic gearbox, 204 horsepower, three litre diesel automatics, a diesel, so it probably catch fire, but it's quite a lovely car. If you want to come and have a little look, I've got on this car a nice bit of wood but my favourite thing about this, and your, you, your car's got this, so you'll get it. I have a full length panoramic sunroof. So I've got a full glass roof, which will make driving this car 
lovely because I'm going to feel like I'm in the sunshine and nice and light inside my vehicle. So I'm quite confident actually, I've got 620 miles range. It should do 39-ish to the gallon. If I can get to St David's and have my miles per gallon figure starting with a four, I'll be very happy indeed. For a big heavy car, this is 2.6 tonnes. So heaviest car I've used for a challenge so far, but I've, I've bonded with it, I really like it. How much to fill up? It was 120 pounds. 90 litre tank, it's a huge tank. Get you about 600 miles. 620 mile range, yeah, that's what it's saying. Wow. So I'm pretty confident. And attached to my car, I have my old school Tom Tom sat nav, all set and ready to go. So between my Tom Tom and my CD player, I am literally in 2005. Technology versus old that's, school. Yeah, exactly. Right, let's get down to the comforts. It's nearly time. It's nearly time. Question for Lee's followers, what is that in the distance? It's obviously not an oil rig, but what is that platform out there? And is it for sale and can I live on it? Right, we're almost there. Time check. Eight. Time check. Eight. Any minute now. Okay, it's eight o'clock. Almost in the Costa del Sol. What do you do if we don't see it? Uh, go anyway. We just go anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Britain. <laughs> We're not doing very good for tourism in this country, are we? It's uh, if you want to see the sunrise, go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next year when we'll be doing a challenge in Europe. <laughs> eight o'clock. Come on, eight oh one. We need eight oh one. There we go, it's 8.01. Is it? It is 8.01. Sunrise. That is 8.01. Right, the sun has risen, can you see it? Can you see the sun? Well, it's there somewhere. Um, do we wait? What do we do now? Uh, it's there. Who's in charge of the clouds? Can't you got them? We, we could have asked them to move them for today, couldn't we? Yeah. We only needed a bit of sun this morning. After that, they could put the clouds back. The thing is, are we going to see the sun set? I really hope so. West is best. West is best. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time to go. I think I think we just go. I'm not seeing any, there's not even an orange glow, is there? There's not even an orange glow. There's nothing. There's, th oh, there's, oh, no, that's a cloud. No, it's just a cloud. That's a cloud. I spy with my little eye, something beginning with S, except I don't. Uh, yeah, this is the most exciting video in, in the, the world. world. <laughs> I undramatic sunrise. I reckon we should just should we Photoshop just it on, yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Just yeah, Photoshop, just Photoshop it. On. it. All right. <laughs> that's it. Sunrise. Uh, that's your lot. I think we just go to the car. Bye. <laughs> right. I want to get to the car first. <laughs> I've got to get there. I've got to beat him on this one. I have got to beat him on this one. See you in eight hours. Who's going to get there first? Me this time. Right, well, this is where it gets interesting because the microphone uh, on my GoPro in the car, there was an issue with the battery. Now, that's unusual because obviously we don't get many issues with batteries recently, do we? Because batteries are the future. Anyway, don't worry about it because I'm going to do a voiceover and also when I get to Cambridge Services for my first charge, um, then I manage to change batteries, etc., and sort it out. And we've got Jeff's footage in the meantime. <laughs> Yeah.
Right, this bit gets really interesting now because Jeff has realised he's made a huge mistake using his TomTom sat-nav because it's taking him to the M25, which gives me a little bit of false hope, but not for long. No, but I am. I think I've already made a huge mistake. You made a huge mistake. Well, I reckon because I just checked my my old school Tom Tom sat nav, and I was looking on the because you shared your location with me, and I was like, why is he going the wrong way? But now I'm thinking it's me that's going the wrong way. Ah, you checked my location. Yeah, well, mine's gone south to go west, so I'm going to end up on the M25, which I think could be a huge mistake. Oh, that's a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Oh, no, Jack. Oh, no, Jack. I did. Oh, no. I have sec I've, I've second guessed myself, and my other sat nav is actually saying there's, no, there's only about three minutes difference between going above Birmingham and going below it. So. Yeah. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with the Tom Tom route because that's what I said I was going to do. I think you should stick with it. I'm terrified. I hate London. I think, I think you should stick with it. It's a renowned, it's a renowned name. Uh, you know, is that the right, right word? It's, it's a well-known brand, the Tom Tom, from the 1980s. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to... Three twenty-six p.m. What's yours? Three sixteen. All right. So there's only ten minutes in it, um, and you obviously need to have a charge. So I think that mistake might just even the playing field a little bit. Well, you could say that, but what you could also say is I I have already made a huge I am a little apprehensive now, actually. Uh, I was very confident before we jumped in the cars, and now I'm thinking Waze might well save the day for you, but I'm going to do all I can to get there before you. You've now got you've now got a new level of confidence that I haven't seen before. <laughs> yeah, confident in my. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, so you're confident in my inability to make good decisions. Yeah, it's a problem that, isn't it? I've never done the M25, I've never driven this route before. I guess, to be fair, this is a reason to do it. I've never driven this route before. Never been down this side of the country in a car. So. If you, if you win in this challenge, I'm gonna shut my channel down. <laughs> Right, I'm going to get... It can't have me not win. It can't have me win. Uh, it's going to be... I don't know now. I, I was so confident. And now, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. M25, bad. Yeah. Bad. All right, well, we, we will see. Uh, have you got an idea as to where you're going to stop to charge your milk flow? So our routes won't actually uh, meet again until the M4 just after Bristol, I think, because you end up going down the M5, don't you? I I'm sure we end up, we'll end up on the same route just after, just after, uh, yeah, around the M4, M5 junction. Charges 
Uh, no, I don't think I do on the M25. Um, but sure, 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 I'm semi confident, but I never go anywhere near London because I hate the place so much that I genuinely never go anywhere near it. Sometimes when I have to go collect cars from Reading and Guildford, I hate it. Why have I done this to myself? I've uh, I've shot myself in the foot ten miles in. Well, twenty one miles in. Exactly. <laughs> right, I'll catch up with you in a little bit then and we'll see how badly I get screwed over in and around London. You enjoy it. Say hi to the capital for me. Bye. Bye. Genuinely. Can't say I'm happy that I'm going this route, but I don't want to turn around by myself and I'm stubborn. I'm going to beat him. Okay, let's reframe this situation. Lee has gone the easy route in an electric car. I'm going the hard route, the route that is most statistically likely to cause me problems in a diesel car, and I'm still going to win. I'm not a very good loser. I really don't want to lose. Right, just now realised it's a very bad idea going the M25 and decides to use his other sat-nav and heads towards Cambridge Services, which is where I'm heading towards, to charge up. Little did I know, because he turned his location services off and he was at the same service station as me. This is like something out of a sitcom. Right, I'm coming off here. Done 103 miles. Um, Cambridge services. I'm only really, I, I do want the coffee, but I am mostly coming off here just to see if Lee's there. I wonder if he's pulled a sneaky one on me. And he's actually decided that he is going to charge at Cambridge. <laughs> it would be funny now. It would be funny now if I ran into him. But also, kind of embarrassing because we left at the same time and I should be miles ahead of him and I'm not. KFC Costa MS McDonald's W H Smith. Right, so I've pulled into the services. Jeff's about to pull into the services a few seconds later. I'm pulling up to Ionity to charge the car and end up meeting some viewers of the channel who are evangelists, who are really nice, by the way. Totally oblivious that Jeff was the other side of the car park. I can... Oh my gosh, I can see him. I can see him, he's over there. He's charging. He bloody is as well. He's actually char look. He hasn't seen me. Has he seen me? No, I think he has. This is hilarious. Look, there I am filming myself. Over there, it's Lee, look. Right, I've actually got a viewer of the channel holding my camera for me and he's charging his car. I've just said, you're not an evangelist, are you? So yes, I bloody well am. <laughs> He's gonna run off with my camera. There we go, right. So let's, oops, plug this in. Right, okay, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get to the west coast. I'm racing the sun and I thought, well, I might as well just quickly charge. I'm only, now as an evangelist, I'm gonna ask you in a minute, if you don't mind being on camera, if I'm doing it right. I'm like, what would the evangelist do? Where's my charging card? Hang on a minute, wait a minute. Here we go, let me just charge this. So I need to point this here start it's verifying it's verifying here we go preparing to charge oh almost ready 
freezing to death. He's freezing, I told you. Hang on one second. Here we go. Let me grab this. Preparing to charge, almost ready. Come in the camera, come in the camera. Right, you're an evangelist. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at, it's still preparing to charge. I think I'm at about, what's, I'm at, what am I at here? 40 odd percent or something. Should I be charging now? Yeah, it should be charging. Should I be charging though? 40%. Yeah. I, I, ABC, always be charging. If you're stopping for a coffee, plug it in, charge it. That's what. That's my thing. ABC, always, always be, be charging. charging. Yeah. That's it, because I'm going for a wee, yeah. going for a coffee. Plug it in. Might as well plug yeah, it in. Plug it in and away you go. See, so Evangelist has said I'm doing it right. Is yeah. it charging? Uh, no. Charging error. Oh, you're having a laugh. The charging error. I can't believe it. Have you not? not I Make sure the car is turned off. Oh, right, I'm going to have to do it again. Right. Right, hang on. Here we go. We are recording. We'll try yeah. it again. Yeah. Here we go. I'll tell you, you see, you cut rod. Here we go. Red button. Get out. Yep. Right, we'll try again. Yep. See? Turn the car off, haven't you? I'll turn the car off. So let's open that. I'll, I'll be honest with you. We've stopped here loads of times, and it's, this is the first time it's ever worked because use the octopus electroverse car oh and it what? works first time well i'm going to try again I, up direct payment come on please make the payment first yeah, connect the vehicle oh, connect, well, connect the vehicle then say it right connect the vehicle there we go okay it's in it's isn't in. going to work connect okay start yeah. authorize it there you go Authorise it, right? Easy. <laughs> easier than easy is it? It's just yeah. oh, just yeah. give us an error. It's well, we've got an evangelist here. Which <laughs> car have you got? The car over there. Okay, well we'll have a look at this in a minute. If I can actually get this to charge, I might have to reverse up and use that one. Preparing to charge, almost ready. It said that last time. I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Come on, come on. Come on. It's freezing. Come on, almost ready. Preparing to charge. Now somebody's going in that space. Yeah. So if this doesn't work, I'm stuffed. Preparing to charge, almost ready. No. Charging error. Again, look. Charging error. Look, there we go. Right, we'll be back in a minute. I think I'm going to. Are you going? Yeah, I'll move off. Right, I'm going to go in your space and yeah. see whether that one works. Right. I can, do I can, can I go the I'll, other I'll, side? I'll pull back. I'll right, he's going to pull back. We're going to have to try that one. Let's unplug this one. See, it's just the uh, evangelist is here. Actually, right. Note all this. Note all this. Let's get back in the car. Right, so I'm now about to pull up to another charger to see whether that works, because the first one didn't. Jeff's over the other side of the car park filming me, thinking I'm going to leave, but I'm not. I'm actually pulling up to try a different charger. He is going, isn't he? Or is he moving? He's going, then I'm going. No, let's prove a point. I'm going to go buy what I need to buy, and then I'm going to catch him, because it's more fun. Right, so Jeff's now gone into the services for a coffee, while I'm still messing around trying to get my car charged, and find out now that the cable's not long enough, and I've got to move the car yet again. No. <laughs> oh, no, it's not going to reach. How am I going to do this? I'm going to have to spin my car around. It's not going to reach, I'm going to have to spin my car around, back in the car again. Right, so I'm back in the car again, switching the car back around again so I can get the cable to fit the fast charging point. Thankfully, Mr Evangelist was there to help out. Right. Try okay. again. I'm going to give this gentleman, the Evangelist, <laughs> my camera. <laughs> right, okay. Got an Evangelist helping me, it's brilliant. Right, okay, here we go. Do I put it in first? Uh, no. No. Ta Tap it first, authorise it first. You got the right card. Where's my card? Where's my card? What's my card? Where's my card? There we go. That's it. Okay, card first. Card first. Right, now plug it in. Now plug it in. You should hear the bleep. Right, now plug it in. Here we go. That. Really need a wee as well. Yeah. Now tap your card again. Now tap my card again. Start. start. Okay, tap authorised payment. I didn't hear a bleep. Not even any bleed. Very fine, very fine. Come on, come on, come on. Right, here we go. I've got it, I've got the camera, I've got the camera. Right, okay. Come on, come on, come on. We need to do this. Do you ever have any issues charging your car? Never. In never? Three and a half years, nearly four years, never. Uh, Only at this one, 
I always used to have a problem at this one. Right. I've got the Octopus Electroverse card and it just do. And it just does off. it. Straight off. Right, preparing to charge, setting up communication with the car. Come on, we can do this. I need a Wii. I've got my jigsaw in the car to do while I'm waiting for it to charge. It's charging. It's charging. Happy days. Oh, oh, that took, what, 30 seconds? 30 seconds. After, after, I, after all that, after I've moved the car, which car have you got? I've got the, the Hyundai corner. Come on, show me the Hyundai. Come on. What have we got here then? We've got the Hyundai. 64 kilowatt. There you 64 go. kilowatt. How many miles on a range? Um, in summer, 305. In really? Winter, yeah, 305, maybe 310. Uh, and in winter, uh, it's down to about 265, 270. More than the Taycan? Probably. It's, it's doing, and it's doing 3.7 kilowatt miles per kilowatt. Would you go back to petrol? Never. Never? Never. The, the, the gimp, while this was a service, they gave me a loan car, a petrol car. It was like the worst. Oh, it was so slow. And, <laughs> what, and I've got to change gear. I've got to remember to put the clutch down. And the, oh, my God. And I thought, what the hell? I was about to give it back. I really Do you know what? I'll tell you what. I tell you what, I've I've always gone on about evangelists, but I actually like this evangelist. Thank you very much. I like these evangelists. They're great. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, please tell me you haven't got any sandwiches with, with crusts cut off. No, definitely not. No, definitely no. not. Brilliant. But you've gone for a cut. Do you bring your own flask or do you get a coffee? Yeah, we buy it. Yeah, we buy yeah it. and I love that. I love the top as well. The money we save on the electric cars, we can afford can... the coffee. You see, brilliant. Little hiccup there. But am I doing the right thing? Because I'm right. going to get comments saying you shouldn't be charging no, yet. ABC, always be charging. Always be charging. You're not like that. Just charge it. You might as well. It's, yeah. it's a no-brainer. That's, an, that's it. Brilliant. Can you say onwards, my friends? <laughs> onwards? What? Onwards, my onwards. friends. Onwards, my friends. Onwards, onwards. that's onwards. it. Yes. There you go. I met, I met an evangelist couple and they were really nice. So anybody, all you evangelists, cannot have a go at me because he's just told me Always be charging A, B, C. So I can have a wee, I can have a coffee, and then I can get back on the road again. Little hiccup there, but we got there in the end, and it's high honesty, and it's cheap. Right, do not miss this bit. Keep your eyes peeled. See right there where the arrow is? That's Jeff hiding from me. He's not seen me. He's coming. He might have seen me, in which case this is ridiculous. I think he's seen me. I'm back here, look. I'm literally walking right past him. There I am, totally oblivious. Should have gone to Specsavers. I can confirm that he did not see me. Excellent, you're off. <laughs> Right, so just now back on the road again. I've uh, been to the bathroom, had my break, I went to 93%, got myself a coffee, and then I bump into some viewers of the channel. Hang on, stop right there. So, got, do you know what? I bumped into an evangelist this morning who watches the channel, right? Now I bumped into this lovely couple as well. You're not evangelist though, are you? No. No, but did you see all the electric cars charging up? Yes. Do you think electric cars are the future? Definitely no. not, no. Definitely not, there you go. I bumped into, a, tell you what though, it was a lovely evangelist who helped me out to try and get charged. And I said, have you ever had any issues charging your car? And he said, never. And then he helped me to charge mine and it errored. <laughs> so I had to change to a different charger. So now you're from where my mum is from, isn't That's it? That's right. Well, Ashton Underline. What are you doing down here? Uh, well, I am from, well, we live in Harwich and we're heading up to Manchester to see family. It's windy up there at the moment. So, you can feel it in the car. Well, I am heading off. I've got to chase the sun and I've got to beat the sunset because I've done sunrise. Now I've got to do sunset and I've got to get there. I've got my coffee because I'm a proper evangelist <laughs> and I've got my two Kit Kats, two for two pounds, in my pocket and I'm going to set back on the road again. So, do you want to say onwards, my friends? Yeah, onwards, my friends. Right, okay. So, I've been charging just over half an hour now. So, as I said back there, I've got my Kit Kats. I've got my Costa coffee, gonna get back on the road. I'll let you know how much it was. The great thing with Ionity is it's subsidized uh, by Porsche. So it shouldn't cost me too much. So I'm charged up there. I should have got just about a full charge, but if, even if it's 98%, I'm just gonna get on the road and set off. So come on, let's get it uh, unplugged and get back on the road again. Right, so it's at 98%, 221 miles. So let's get it unplugged. Right, okay, that's this unplugged. Let me just put the thing back. Okay, charger back. That wasn't too bad. Half an hour in total, just over half an hour, which wasn't bad. Got myself a coffee, got myself some Kit Kats. Also went to the little boy's room. Uh, needed a number two, not a number one TMI. Anyway, let's get in the car and let's find out how much it cost. 
You didn't really need to know that, did you? Right, so it comes to a total of £14.37 pence for 47.89 kilowatts. So come on, onwards. Right, so we lost some time there. However, uh, it was the right thing to do to charge uh, because the evangelist who we met, who was very nice by the way, if you're watching, hello and thank you very much for your help there with the camera uh, and charging, etc. Um, hey, <laughs> um, is that, oh, somebody else in an electric car has just pipped me. Um, Another evangelist couple. <laughs> it seems the evangelists are not, they're not, they don't mind me, let's just put it that way. Seems the evangelists pip and wave. They all seem really nice, to be fair. Um, anyway, where was I? So, we met the evangelist couple, that couple there as well, and another couple who weren't evangelists. However, we're back on the road now. Uh, we've got 214 miles of range, 97 percent of battery, uh, 300 miles to our destination, um, 5 hours and 16 minutes. To be fair, I needed a break, I was getting a little, a little bit sort of like, you go into a trance when you're driving for that long, so I think it was the right thing to do uh, and charge. And remember, ABC, always be charging. I should remember that now. There you go, an alert. Now, so the evangelist cannot have a go at me for charging back there because an evangelist told me to charge back there. Anyway, we've got an incident here, uh, which must mean there's a traffic jam or something. So I better slow this down to 40 because there's a camera and it says 40 mile an hour. Um, right, anyway, so I'll drink my coffee, have a Kit Kat. Got a little bit of a rant about these Kit Kats. I prefer the Kit Kats when they were in the paper wrapper with the silver foil inside them. I don't like, I'm gonna speed up a little bit and I'm actually gonna to have to break the speed limit a bit there because I don't like being in that part of the lorry there in his blind spot and he's trying to overtake me. So I'm gonna, uh, right, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, I prefer the Kit Kats with the paper wrapper on and the silver foil. There was something, and I think they do them still on the two finger version. There was something satisfying about going and then snapping them, you know what I mean? And now you've got to, it's just wrong and it's, it's plastic. Go back to the old wrappers. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's 70 on here and you're only doing 60. Get out of the way, that's it. There we go. Get your little battery operated car out of my way. What I love is the fact that I've got a van right up my backside flashing me to get out of the way and I can't go anywhere because there's a Dacia in front of me. So here we go. Goodbye. See you later. There we go. But goodbye. Oh, got a Tesla coming out there as well. Out of the way for the Tesla. Tesla! No! There we go. Let's pull back in and we're going to see this van that was right up my backside. Unless he's flashing me because he watches the channel. No, I don't think he watches the channel. I just think he's driving like a bell end. What is it with van drivers? Why do, van drivers, okay? Why do you drive up the backside of other cars, right? You literally, right up the backside of them, flashing them. I couldn't go anywhere. There was a Dacia in front of me and he was flashing me to get out of the way. Get out of the way. I couldn't go anywhere. There's a, I want to go. 
Van drivers. We've got Jeff buys cars here. Okay, Jeff. What? Jeff buys cars. What is it with van drivers? That they want to get right up your backside, flash you when you can't go anywhere because there's a day here in front of you. I mean, I, unbelievable. The guy is a bell end. Is this the C14? This is the. Uh, what am I on now? <sighs> I don't know what I'm on actually. I'm on the. I'm going. I'm near Kettering. Yeah, that A14 is the most frustrating road I've ever driven on. I did it yesterday as well, and that's partly why I decided to go for the London route because I had such a bad experience. Because you can't make any progress. It's a very, very frustrating road to drive on. You got two lanes. Nobody has any lane discipline. Everybody's angry. Everybody's flashing everybody. And why are people letting lorries out? Why are you letting the lorry out when there's two lanes and there's an uphill section? So I watch someone generously flash a lorry to let him out, and then the lorry slows down to the exact same speed as the lorry that's next to for the uphill, and we're all stuck behind a boat. It's infuriating. Well, Ford Transit drivers, shame on you. Shame on you, Ford Transit drivers. You are all bell ends. <laughs> yeah. And flashing the light. Apart from the ones that subscribe to me, they're not bell ends, yeah. they're nice. Um, anyway, interesting stopover there at Cambridge oh, Services. I've learned something. Evangelists, oh, yeah? and I, th I think you'll agree, evangelists, I call them, I dig at them, I have a laugh at them, but I met a, a lovely couple who were evangelists who came over really happy and excited because they well he he was she didn't know his, his wife didn't know who i was but he did and he came over really excited helped me film then helped me plug my uh car in and i said we can't hear you it's just he's breaking up can't even make a phone call what is right we've got 5g masts going up everywhere and we can't make a phone call yeah, we're on a main arterial route that goes across the country, and we can't make a call. Wonder what they're doing with the with the uh, with the mobile with the cell service if they're not using it for us. Well, they've been upgrading the cell network and moving everybody to five G. But based on the quality of our phone calls across all of our challenges so far, it's not the phone network, is it? Not no, for you and me. We're both on different networks, and they're both crap. Exactly. So something's going on, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, you were telling me about Yeah, lovely, lovely couple, lovely guy, salt of the earth, he's probably watching, uh, came over, filmed me putting my uh, charger connection in, and I said, have you ever had any problems with uh, charging? No, nothing at all. Brilliant, love my car. Mine errored. <laughs> and I tried it again. Are you there? Yeah. And, so he had his and, first and, ever charging problem when met you. Well, it, it was my charging problem. He charged fine. I tried to plug it in again. He says, unplug it, plug it back in again. I did. And it erred again. So I said, are you going? He said, yeah. So then he reversed me into his space and I managed to get it charged. Um, so there we go. But he said he's never had an issue. He loves his electric cars. But what I will say is, Oh, and then I met another couple who weren't evangelists who watched the channel. And then when I got back on the road, an electric car came past me, pipped and waved and smiling. It, another couple of evangelists. So I've come to the fact, I've come to the fact, evangelists, I've called them black and blue, but they're really nice people. That is the impression I get from all of these interactions that you have with people. Because even the ones that don't like their cars, they're all really nice. Yeah, I mean, even Morag, who emails and is obsessed with electric cars, is never abusive towards me personally. No, she's always very polite and her comments are always very well written. Yeah, so I'm, I've come to the conclusion, evangelists, nice people. Arrived at that conclusion. Maybe your comments are going to be a bit nicer now, then. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, he, he liked his car very, uh, but there you go. But I learned something else as well. 
ABC, always be charging. Always be charging, wow. Hey, do you like that? Do you like that? Char so on, then. How long did you, how much batch did you put in? Did you have a coffee? I had a coffee, I had a relaxing poo. <laughs> I read that. And I had a couple of Kit Kats, two for uh, two for two pound or something I think it was. And then I came out just over half an hour, ninety eight percent charged. Uh, and I think it cost me, I think it was eighteen quid or something. It was quite cheap because it's Ionity, and you know me, I like Ionity. That's good value, that eighteen quid for two hundred miles. No, no, it wasn't two hundred miles. It was about. I think I'd got, because I'd already got 100 miles in or something, or 90 odd miles, I can't remember, but anyway, it was very good value. So, the only problem is now, I've got, and I'll tell the viewers here, 174 miles of range, 81% of battery, I've got 264 yeah. miles to my destination, and I'm not going to get there now until 6 minutes past 4, but I've got to charge again. Yeah, so you've got to add another 80 miles. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm, I'm going to put enough on to get me to where we're going because we're not in the outer hemisphere. I'm sure there's some charges around where we're staying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think you should be okay out there. So you can run it fairly low. So I can run it fairly low, and if not, I'll just plug it into the wall socket and trail a lead through to my hotel window. Absolutely. Um, Awesome. So you are around about Kettering, is that right? I am just past Kettering, to the west of Kettering, because I can see on my two maps. Whereabouts are you? Uh, I don't really want to tell you. You're, you're further on than me now, aren't you? You've, you've gained. I've gained a little bit thanks to your stuff, yeah. Right, okay. Well, I think we're still on. The only thing is, it said sunset is... Uh, 349 but that's here it would probably be would it be different on the west it would be different wouldn't it yeah it would be later so that will that'll be okay for you actually um what's the map here i'm just checking on where i'm going um yeah so if it if it's saying sunset 349 it's course of sin because you're further away in Pembroke, so you've got a bit of extra time there so i've got a bit so of yeah I guess you're gonna charge somewhere towards Wales then really, aren't you? Are you going to be in Wales for your next charge, I would have thought? Yeah, the only thing is, Wales is a charging desert, so... Um, yeah. And even the evangelists admit that. Even I believe even Morag has admitted that Wales is not the best place to get a charge. Yeah. So... Uh, these are always drive me mad when they don't know what lane they're meant to be in. Oh, lorries drive... So, Lorries drive me nuts. Two lanes, and they try and overtake each other, and they stay. Got lorry drivers watching now as well on the channel. They're going, well, we have to do that. But then they just stay side by side, and then everybody, back, the traffic gets backed up because the two lorries are side by side. Either overtake, one of them slow down, and the other one pass, or just stay in the left-hand lane and just stay where you are. I think we need to do a, we need to do a, a video together where we ask some lorry drivers to explain why they do that because it slows down the entire nation. Well, I, my mate's a lorry driver, so I'm going to ring him and ask him. I'm going to ring him. Yeah, do it. And yeah. ask him why. Is that, is that mate that, was that your same mate that advised me not to go to London way? Yes, it is. He advised you not to go London way. I'm going to ring him and ask him. In fact, I'll tell you what. Wait there, Jeff. Uh, just have a look at this. Lorry overtaking two lorries. Annoying. Onwards, my friends. Right, okay, my friends. So we've got Dave on uh, on the camera here now, on, on the phone. JB, uh, to all the regular viewers. He is a lorry driver, and we are going to ask him the question that we were just talking about. Dave, as a lorry driver, right, tell me, I'm on a two-lane carriageway here. Why is it that you lot really annoy car drivers? You know what I'm gonna say? and overtake other lorries and just stay side by side. It winds me up. Why do you do it? 
Well, quite simple. We have something to do, haven't we? Um, but it's, it depends what speed you're doing. You, you're only doing 53 max, foot down with a force 10 gale behind you. So you remember, it takes a lot of time to overtake. Well, then just because you are all sit in the outside lane anyway, we have to get by somehow. Just stay in the left hand lane and let the people. Uh, let, let, yeah. let the cars go. <laughs> let the important people, the cars go by. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Let the impotent people go by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, um, yeah. Okay. You remember that you're broken down at the sun. Send a truck to come and pick you up because you've run out of battery. <laughs> Or I'm waiting for something to be delivered. Or something to be delivered, yeah. You know, most of the most of the lads out today have got more drops than Santa, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Dave, it's been an interesting journey so far, uh, as I've told the viewers. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what, just stay there, Dave. <laughs> I'm going to explain to Dave about the lovely evangelist that I'm at. So, oh look, another lorry trying to overtake another another lorry. Blooming lorry drivers, I tell you what, they're, uh... a, they're, a, they're a pain in the backside. <laughs> Onwards, my friends. Right, so Jeff Buys Cars has just sent me a voice message. He's stopping for another break and stopping for another wee. I could do with another wee, but that's the problem with having coffee, isn't it? Oh, here we go. He's here right now. Yeah. Have I got you there? Oh, I've lost him again. Do you know what? The mobile phone service is terrible, I've got to say. Anyway, he stopped for a wee, so hopefully that'll give us a bit of an advantage here we'll try again here we go right we're gonna try again are you there jeff i am here and you're not gonna believe what just happened to me what i've just pulled into the services because i fancied buying a flat cap because i knew that there's a first that's got a, a, a wh smith where i have to buy a flat cap right i pull in what did we talk about this morning about electric cars and not there not being an electric convertible right Guess what's charging at the charging point when I arrive at these services? Go on, what? The brand new MG Cyberster convertible. No! I'll send you photos. It was the development team. They're all from China. They're there with another EV and they're on their way back to Birmingham now. 200 miles range and very fast. Wow! He just said to me, can't tell you much about it because we should really be taking pictures of it. So obviously I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> But there's a, that's the only one in the country. They're out in China, but they're not out in the UK yet, those cyber stick convertibles. Wow, okay, that's cool. I've not seen one. It is cool, isn't it? Yeah, I've not seen yeah, one yet. It is. No, I'll, well, I'll send you some photos. I'm just uh, and done another little break. Up, right? and do you know the great thing with a convertible electric car, I'm going to be an evangelist now, is that you can have the roof down and you can hear the birds and hear the wind and cheeping of the birds and the sounds of the trees you can listen to the sound of your own farts and listen to the sound of your own farts <laughs> it's exactly what electric car people like to do they know we're being nice to electric car people now aren't we somebody actually said if you remember last night you read they actually said it was a bit rude towards morag and it, there was, I think he was the meaning evangelist in total. They said evangelists basically like to fart into a wine glass and smell their own farts. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's the track cycle. And funnily enough, even though I pulled into this service, flat cap, they don't sell them anymore. They don't sell flat caps? No, I always used to buy them at this WF. Concession of flat caps. I... And socks and things. But now they don't sell them. Well, you can go and get yourself some of those yellow driving glasses that you can buy that are absolute garbage that nobody wears and you just chuck them in the door it's, pocket. It's so hilarious that you said that because I've got a new pair of those and people will see on my YouTube channel that I just showed off my new pair of driving glasses. <laughs> You've actually bought, you're the person who buys that garbage. I love yellow tinted glasses. I wear them all the time. Yellow tinted glasses and 
and flat caps. That's because you have a head. Yeah. You have a head like the elephant man, John Merrick. That's exactly it. Right. I'm going to go and have a wee, and I can't believe I've been unsuccessful in finding a flat cap. But well, successful in seeing a new un unlimited, un 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 what's the word? Unproduced car. Oh well, send me a picture of it. I'm intrigued at that. An MG. Sending it over now. Does it? Sending it over does, now. Does it look sexy? It does actually. Yeah, it's quite a good-looking car. Wow. There you go. It's exciting, isn't it? That is exciting. Porsche need to up their game and get that Boxster out quick. Absolutely. Right, I'll speak to you in a bit. OK, take your time. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Right, OK. So, got to go straight on here, get in the M6. Uh, now, we can gain a little bit of traction here uh, against Jeff if he's stopping. Stay in your own lane. It's probably for the best. Then... Uh, you won't crash into me. Um, we can get a little bit of traction getting on here. I've got to charge up once more. 145 miles of range, 234 miles to go. So I'm just going to keep going. I do need another wee. If needs be, I could probably use the cup that the fluid came out with in the first place and wee in there. But that might be a bit of a challenge. I need one of those. I need one of those. Uh, you can actually get something that you wee in, can't you? Like a a portable loo toilet. I don't know whether that's legal though, to wee while you're actually driving. Anyway, come on, onwards. Right, quick update for you. So, 81 miles of range left. Uh, we have got 168 miles to go. Um, three hours and 11 minutes left to go. Need to charge up. I'm thinking it'll probably take us down towards Gloucester, is it? I've, hopefully, there's a charger en route because I definitely need to charge. So, um, I reckon we've got 36% of battery left. So wherever the next charger is, where's this van going? Uh, then we need to charge up. So, uh, what time are we on? Eight minutes past four. Looks like we're gonna miss sunset because we've had to charge up. I'm guessing Jeff's gonna be able to get there. Um, it's, oh, do you know what? I was so hopeful when he was using the Tom Tom, but like now I think he's gonna get sunset and I'm gonna miss it. Ah! so annoying because it's the charging yet again isn't it it's the time to charge the only time an ev will ever work is if we get batteries that can charge if you can charge a car within the same amount of time that you can fill your car up with petrol or diesel that's the only time it's going to win i'm really now really disheartened because i can see the sun setting already and we've got another 167 miles to go. I can see the sun going down. Oh man, I've got that, I've got that song in my head now. Don't let the sun go down on me. <laughs> I'll start, don't worry, I won't, I won't take up singing. Come on, 
onwards. Get out of the way. It's 70 on here. I'm di you're doing 60. Get out of the, either overtake them or pull in. Go on, you can do it. You've got the power. You've got the power. Three lorries, go on. That's it. Accelerate. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. That's it, pull in. Oh, no indicator. I thought indicators worked on VWs. Obviously not. Right, onwards. Boom. Boom. Right, I tell you what, it's really annoying now because I've got the sun shining in my face, as you can see, um, coming into a 50 mile an hour zone. Oh dear, I tell you what, it's all speed limits in Wales, isn't it? Uh, I've got the, uh, the sun shining into my face and I think it's teasing me because it's like, I'm like, oh, 9-11 there. Uh, I'm like, there's the sun, I need to beat you to the west coast, but I don't think I'm gonna do it now. Just stay there, sunshine. Stay there, sunshine. I've got, come on, and I'm not gonna make it because 62 miles of range, 152 miles to go. And I can see, I can see the sun there. So annoying, so annoying. Oh, yet again, electric, electric cars i want to see in the blue skies and there would be a chance of me actually seeing the sunset really annoying and i bet you jeff is going to get to see the sunset in his diesel diesel for the win again i bet it does my head in Right, okay, so um, I've actually put on my Porsche sat-nav now. There is an InstaVault near here. So I'm going to charge up, where are we going here? At InstaVault. It is expensive, InstaVault is. However, they are fast chargers. So let's find InstaVault, get it charged, and then get where we're going. We're obviously going to miss the sunset now. Where are we going here? We going in here? Is this the way? I don't know where I'm going here. After 150 yards. Where is it? Okay, where is Instavolt? See, this is the thing. Where is it? Where is Instavolt? Where? Where is Instavolt? Where are the chargers? You have reached your stopover. Where? Are they in here? I'm guessing they're in here or something, is it? In here? Where Where are the charging points? They've got to be in here somewhere. It's saying they're in here. I can't see any chargers. No. No chargers. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Right, okay. <laughs> I just want to find the chargers. Right, I just need to back it. I need to get a little bit closer to the charge point here. Okay. And then plug in. And hopefully we should be on our way. So, uh, what time is it? We are now at 1.33 in the afternoon. 
I'm at 59 miles of range, 26% of battery. Um, so let's get it charged and uh, then get on our way. Come on. Right, okay, let's get this in. Here we go. Hopefully that should reach. Now Instavolt are expensive, but to be honest, I just want to get it charged. Come on. Price and how much is it? 85p per kilowatt. At least Dick Turpin wore a mask and pre-authorization value of 45 pounds. It does my head in. Pre-authorization value. That's absolutely ridiculous. So if you only want to put 15 quid in, they're actually going to take it off of you. Put, start a charge. Okay, I've done that. Tap my card. Here we go. Okay, card read okay. Come on. Let's get charged. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, card acquisition. Please wait. To select a charge, please follow the instructions located on the charge station and signage. Uh, there's another car coming in now. Is this an, is this a, is this, yeah. Here we go. It's not doing anything. Card acquisition. Initial authorization, 45 pound, yes. We'll do that. Okay, come on. Card authorization approved. Right. What is it doing? I just want to charge. This is taking my time now. Okay, plug into your car. I have done, it's already plugged in. I never know whether to plug in first or plug in after and then authorise it. Never kind of explains it properly. So connection timeout in 169, 168. Oh, come on. Where's the sun? Right, I can hear something. Yeah, running. Okay, it's a good sign. We can hear a fan. That's good. It's running, we've got power. Come on, charge. Fingers crossed. Excellent, right, we're in. <laughs> we're in, we're in, we're on. Excellent. Here we go, check it out. Now, while I wait for my car to charge, Jeff has got me a jigsaw, but there are some pieces missing. So I could do the jigsaw. It's a bit windy to do it today though, uh, on the roof of the car. Otherwise all the pieces might blow away. Uh, but we've got all the jigsaw pieces in here. So I wonder whether I could get my, this, how many pieces is it? A thousand piece jigsaw. Now the thing is, can I complete this thousand piece jigsaw before my car actually charges? See the cars on there as well, look. I bet they're not electric, look, look at them. That is when cars were cars. A nice original Mini there. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a Triumph Stag on that one there? Absolutely gorgeous. No electric cars on there. Anyway, I don't think I want to get a chance to do that today. I'll we'll have to wait around. Right, the time now is, it is. What time are we on here? Here we go. We are on. Uh, 22 two. So hopefully, this is a fast charger and then we'll be able to get back on the road and get on our way, even if we do miss sunset. And uh, at least we'll get to the pub in time and have a beer with uh, Jeff. It's freezing. Right, well, this is not uh, looking well because they're charging next to me that's taken the um, kilowatts down because of the amount of power on the grid and apparently it's going to take about another hour to charge now and these are supposed to be high powered chargers but I don't want to end up in my destination we've, we've missed sunset that's for sure um, but at least we can get there without it being too late but I'm guessing Jeff's already got there unless something uh, has turned up. I, honestly, I, I'm getting really disheartened now. There's a guy coming in a Volvo, an electric Volvo. He's turned in, he got the huff, went out and, and gone because there's two cars charging. Absolutely, it's just, it's nuts, isn't it? I always get excited thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And then I never can because really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you do it, and I have charged right this time, even the last guy said, you know, ABC, always be charging. Well, I am charging, but I'm not getting where I'm going. Always be charging, exactly. 
What about always be getting on your way instead of always be charging? It's doing my head in now. Honestly, if I could get rid of this car, it'd go. I just wanted to get, I wanted to see the sunset. Right, well, I'm going to go and see whether they do coffee in here. By the way, the car park that I went in over there has got cameras on and I went in and come out. If I get a ticket, I can tell you now, I won't be paying it. That's for sure. It'll be going straight in the shredder. I'm doing my head in all these electric cars and stuff. Uh, served all day, tea and coffee. I wonder if they do sandwiches or something. Right, well, I went in. Uh, see, they do do coffee. But, ah, Jeff buys cars. Here we go. One second. I'm going to answer the phone, put him on loudspeaker. Here we go. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm not great because I'm. I don't know. I don't know where I am. Basically, I've stopped to charge at Instavolt, um, and somebody else is charging next to me, which reduced the charging um, kilowatts. So, so now, I've got still got about. Another, I'm not going to make sunset. That's for sure. You're not that same of course, you one, are you? No, I don't think so. I don't know where I am actually. Where am I? Let me have a look where I am. Don't touch it. No, I'm on. Uh, where am I? Don't even know where I am. Where am I? I'm at. Uh, I don't know where I am. Do you know what? I've no idea where I am. I am... I'm not... I don't know where I am. Let me just put my, my camera down one second and I'll tell you exactly where I am. Do you know what? I'm going to tell the viewers here where I am as well. I don't know where I am. I am... Cy... Goodrich... Staunton... Y Valley... On the way to... Uh, Y Valley, on the way to Monmouth. Okay, yeah, I know where you are. Um, you're not doing too badly then? I'm not doing too badly, but the chances of me... What was annoying is, I was just telling the viewers, what was annoying is, I could see the sun. It was shining in my face, it was teasing me. I'm like, you, you're there, you, you're just going to beat me. And yet again, I'm not going to make it. You're probably miles ahead of me. Uh, I'm on the way, I reckon, to, well, uh, another probably 40 minutes I'll be at Merthyr Tidville or something, I would have thought, yeah. going that way. Um, so... You're not too far now from the Welcome to Wales side. Right, okay. Are you further forward than that? Yeah, I'm a little bit further forward than that. Right, okay. Um, ah, I need to work out, I tell you what, one sec, let, let me ring you back in 10 minutes, just let me get, let me see where I am on charge. All right, bye, bye. You see, it's so annoying. It's like, I just want to get to my destination. I want to get to, but I don't want to be doing this. Oh, I could have got sunset. I wanted to see the sunset. Right, let's see where we're at. Right, the issue we've got is I'm using Zap Map now, um, and I'm looking where we're actually going to, and Wales, is a charging desert it really is there's not many chargers there's some around the hotel where i'm going to but where i need to get over to right over to the west coast if i actually make it that far i might i might again not even make it um which is really upsetting um the ones around the hotel are not very fast chargers and some of them are actually out of order uh, in fact, this one's only, wow, these are even, these are just slow chargers. Oh my word, 22 kilowatts, so I can't use them. So I'm having to now wait and charge up to 100% to get me to my destination and then be able to get back. Right, okay, battery ran out on my GoPro, typical. Although we all know batteries are rubbish, don't we? And it had still got, I think about 8% left and it just quit. So there we go, down to my last battery on my GoPro. Um, so where was that? Right, I'm gonna have to charge fully, even though uh, we're only supposed to charge it up to 80%, so I can get to my destination, because Wales is a charging desert. I'm gonna miss the sunset now. I mean, it's saying here I'm gonna get there at five past five. Sunsets at 
about five past four, so I'm going to be an hour late. I've still got another 150 miles to go. Uh, do you know what? I'm losing the will to live with electric cars. Um, I've done what the evangelists say, charge, always be charging. Well, that's it really, isn't it? Always be charging, which is what you are. You're not getting to where you're going. You're literally just charging, trying to buy a coffee that you don't need. I went in there, it was ages to wait for a coffee. I'm like, it's just ridiculous. People queuing up having drinks. I, honestly, it just upsets me because I thought, I actually thought I was really gonna get there this time and do it. And then yet again, it's just, I don't know. Right, anyway, see you when I get back on the road. Right, so a lot more expensive uh, than the last charge. So this is 57 pounds and 18 pence, uh, 20 pence. Instavolt is expensive, it's extortionate. I'm gonna stop it now, we're at 99%. So um, we've got enough to get there and then also a little bit to play with when we get there as well to the hotel. Hopefully, actually, if we go past the... I don't know whether I'm going to need to charge again. No, we should have enough. Hopefully we'll have enough, we'll see, because if we get to the west coast, right to the west, and I do that, and we manage to get there, I might just have to go straight to the hotel and call it off, because it'll be dark by the time we get there. Do you know what? I've got... I've got the feelings of when I didn't make it to uh, Land's End. It's madness. Anyway, £57.38. I'm just going to stop it. How do you do this? I'll tap my card again to stop. Um, here we go. Come on. I've... Come on. There we go. Do you know what? Every time with Instavolt, I reckon you get another couple of pence out of people, but it takes ages to cancel the card. Stop it. 57.45, 57.47, it's waiting for the card. Yes, stop the session. 57.49, it's still going. Thank you very much. Right, 57 pounds and 49. Stopping, it's still stopping, it's still going. Here we go. 57.49, in the end, that's good. Okay, well it's not good, is it? It's bad. And now, <laughs> Start time. Look at the amount of time I've wasted there. Nearly an hour. Madness. Right, I'm going to unplug this and then get back on the road. I'll see you back in the car. Right, let's get back on the road. Where are we? Here we go. Uh, come on. Go. Right, to St. David's Lighthouse in again. Feet. Right on the west. The what have we got? 150 miles, 2 hours 57. It says we're going to get there at 5.26. We've got 223 miles of range. But yet again, we've wasted nearly 2 hours of charging. Or an hour and a half, isn't it? Maybe just, just about an hour and a half of charging that we've wasted, which is absolute madness. This is the thing. If you don't value your time, that's fine. But if you want to put a value on your time, that's the problem, isn't it? And all these charge points are expensive. Where did they get off? You've got Instavolt, which is extortionate, and then grid serve, it's mental. They're obviously making massive amounts of profit on these. And where does it go from here? Because they're only going to increase the prices over time when more and more people have electric cars. So it's going to be, we're all going to be priced out of actually driving at all. Um, right, how do we get out of here? Let's get out of here, car coming. Oh, great, put a signpost right where I can't see. That's it. No public parking. Here we go. Clamping in operation. Hopefully not if you're actually on a charge point. Right, let's get back on the road and uh, then we'll give Jeff a ring and see what's what. The Jeff buys cars now. 
the sun is teasing me because it's really bright, shining in my face, and it's laughing at me. It's laughing in my face. Sun is laughing at you. The sun is laughing at me, and it's saying, "Ha! See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya." Whereabouts are you now? Because you said you'd phone me after you got charging, and that was twenty-five minutes ago. Just finished. Did you take you twenty-five minutes to get charging. Yeah, well, it's took me an hour to charge. Wow. An hour to charge almost. 50 odd pounds. Yeah. Uh, which we know instantly. God, that is very bright. Um, it's really bright. In fact, so are, you, are you driving now? I'm driving now, and it says I'm not going to get there until 527. Comic phone call. Say again. Lost him. Right, anyway, um, 5.27 it's saying we're going to get there. I think, I don't think we're actually going to make it all the way to the West Coast. I think yet again, we're going to have to give up, go straight to the hotel. But all is not lost yet. We shall see. It depends where Jeff is. I don't think we're going to, well, we're definitely not going to make sunset. So, there we go. And welcome to Wales. is there look to the left just stay there stay there just wait till i get to the west that sun is a cheeky little thing because it's literally shining in my face laughing at me always be charging don't buy an electric car because if you do you'll always be charging it there you go come on onwards <laughs> There you go, signpost there, look. Polluted air kills, slow down. What's all that about? If you slow down, then you're gonna give more fumes. Where, who thinks these signs up? They're not wired up in the head, are they? Unbelievable, that's got to be a counselor that thinks of that, right? Honestly, mad. Right, okay, so we're now heading west. Um, up, well, a little bit off the west, because there's the sun. So, we're going west now down towards past Cardiff uh, and then up towards Swansea and over to the west. Um, hang on, I've got to slow down a bit because we've got uh, average speed cameras. Um, we've got 124 miles to go, 2 hours 31 minutes in total and it says arrival will be 5.28. The sun will have gone by then. We'll wait to see where Jeff is and what he's doing and how far the hotel is from there. Uh, I have to say I'm a little disheartened after today. I'm thinking, what is the actual point? Do you know what? I think Jeff now needs to experience what an electric car is like. I think it's my turn to hop in a diesel, and I think the next time that we do something, I get in a car that, of his, a diesel one or whatever, and he hops in this, and he does the electric uh, journey, because he can then see firsthand how upsetting and disheartening it really is losing time after time after time because it's charging and you're wasting your time you're just wasting your life constantly charging and is again is this the future really you're going to get the evangelists who i found out are very nice by the way uh, you're going to get the evangelists saying well yes because you wouldn't go on a long journey like that but people are. I've met people today at Christmas time 
going from south to north, etc., and they're having to charge. So you're wasting your life charging. You buy an electric car, you'll always be charging, eh? You'll always be charging it. If the lovely gentleman's watching, by the way, that gave me the ABC thing, I'm using it for that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm disheartened. I wanted, I so wanted to win. I so wanted to win this uh, race or whatever you want to call it. On for one hour and two minutes to A48 towards yeah. the I will, and the traffic's building up now. Oh dear. Right, come on. Onwards, my friends. Gonna keep smiling. Look at that sun shining in my face. Ha! It's, it's setting. Just stay there. I've got to say, by the way, people of Wales, I know that uh, buffoon's gone now, he's, re he's resigned or whatever, or retired or whatever, the prat that made all the roads 20 mile an hour, right? But who actually thought it was a good idea to make a motorway with three lanes either side, 50 miles an hour? What is all that about? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What complete pillock thought that was a good idea? Honestly, and I mean, there's no reason for it. No reason at all, apart from to be annoying. Come on, onwards. <laughs> Jeff buys cars. Good afternoon. It's what not. Is your current status? My current status is. I've got the sun laughing and shining in my face again. Oh, good. I've just got grey skies. Ah, right. Well, I've got sun shining in my face and it's going, ha! Ha! I'm beating you. What is your estimated time of arrival? Right. My estimated time of arrival it's 29 minutes past five. Okay, that's not too bad. But that will miss the sunset. Yeah, but what, I'm in a 20 mile an hour zone. Well, you're in Wales. It's, a, it's always a 20 mile an hour zone, isn't it? Yeah, and road works and closed roads and put the cones out for no reason. They knew we were coming again, didn't they? They put all the cones out. Yeah, now then. You know the gentleman that I saw earlier on? The lovely gentleman, yeah. by the way, he's probably watching, and he is a lovely, lovely, he was a lovely gentleman. Wish I'd have had time to have a coffee with him. He said, ABC, always be charging. Yeah. I say, don't get an electric car, because you'll always be charging it. I, I agree. I mean, you could say, ABC, always be charging, or let me come up with a new acronym. G T W Y G. You could be G T W Y G, which is get to where you're going. Get to where you're going, exactly. And yet now, yet again, I've wasted uh, over an hour, and I was an hour and a half or something charging. What? Uh, honestly, these people, these evangelists, do you not value your time? It's mental. It's, uh, yeah. Do they not value their time? Um, I thought the A14 was painful. I, had to have a bit, I think I need some counselling after being on that A14 with the way the lorries are all driving and moving late. But as I got further into Wales, it's got better and better and there's less people. It's nice. Oh, it's no, it, 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 it's nice. Are we, are you still, what's your estimated time of arrival? You're not telling me. He's not telling me. He's playing games with me. He's just teasing me. Are you going to be there when I get there or not? We are going to get... No. I'll be at the hotel. <laughs> You'll be at the hotel. I will phone you when I get to... When I'm at the lighthouse taking a selfie. Not the lighthouse. It's not a lighthouse, is it? It's a lifeboat station. When I'm at the lifeboat station, I will phone you 
and I'll send you a picture. Right, well then, it, we're going to have, this is going to be reminiscent of Land's End because I'm not going all the way to the lifeboat station in the pitch black because the sun's gone down and you're in the hotel having a beer. I'm sacking it off if, if you ring me and I'm going to the hotel and that's it. If I get a, don't have to go to it, that is a deal. Right, and let me, let me just put this one out to you, right? This has been painful again and I actually... I'm really disheartened because I really thought I was in with a chance, right? Yeah. The next contest that we do, you're driving the bloody electric car and I'm doing a diesel. Either that or I'll, I'll drive my 1969 Renault. I think that's fair. When I know that that car is safe for long distance, I'll do that because then I'll be limited by speed as well. That would be interesting. Because if I can beat you in a cup which is 50 years old, then that just says it all, doesn't it? Deal. But all, but also, you need to drive an electric car. You've got to see how absolutely... All right. I'll, I will do that. I will rent an electric car and we'll do an epic trip. And, do you, you something and do you know what? What's really disheartening is, I've just had my girlfriend ringing me saying, Will you be back for three tomorrow? I went, um, uh, I'm not sure. She says, well, what time are you leaving? I said, well, I'm going to have breakfast and then come back. And she said, well, it shouldn't take that long, should it? I said, well, I'm coming from Wales up to Mansfield to the office to print out some, something and get some stuff because I'm going to be up in Leeds for Christmas and go to Leeds. And she was like, right, well, how long is that going to take? I think it's about five hours. And she says, well, you should be all right. Then I went, well, no because I've probably got to add another three hours charging time onto that. Yeah, and you're doing that on the Friday as well. To be honest, the traffic, I don't think it's been any worse than normal. Hang on, I'm going to have to get you off the phone because what I can see in front of me right now is beautiful. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to film it. I'll speak to you in a bit. I'll call you when I'm there. See you later. Bye. Bye. There we go. So it looks like I'm not actually. Oh, turn it down. I'm not actually going to make the, the West let down by electric car again. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Come on, onwards to wherever we're going. Probably the hotel, but we'll see. Right, I think we've got to be realistic here now because I'm still thinking on my site now I'm going to the Westerly Point to meet Jeff. He's obviously going to get there before me and sunset is four minutes past four. I'm not going to get there till 28 minutes past five. So he's obviously going to get there before me. I'm throwing the towel in. There's no point. There's absolutely no point in me going there now. So I'm going to try and pull over at the next stop. I need a wee. I'm going to pull over, I'm going to have a wee, I'm going to re-pop uh, into my sat-nav the hotel that we're going to go to because that's not quite on the westerly coast and try and get to the hotel before Jeff uh, and check in uh, and just get myself settled down and then probably welcome him back to the hotel. Unless, of course, he gets to the hotel before me, does the west coast, takes his picture and then gets to the hotel. This literally must prove to the evangelists and to Morag, by the way, because I, I charged where I should have charged. Even the evangelists said that to me, right? Okay, always be charging, which is what I was. Charged where I can, you know, not when I have to. I've done all that and still I don't make it. I still lose. So, once again, it's proved electric cars are crap. They're not fit for purpose. They won't be the future in my opinion there we go uh, and also my experience of what i've just done today on a long journey it doesn't work a diesel however does that was what a grand what he paid for it ridiculous unbelievable right come on i want to try and find somewhere to pull over on the services and uh, re uh, pop in my sat nav hopefully we can get to the pub before him that'll be a bonus at least that'll be if i could do that 
that will be a bonus if I can get to the pub before him because then I can have a beer before him. Right, come on, onwards. <music> Jeff buys cars. Good afternoon. You're going to tell me you're there, aren't you? I am very happy at David's Lifeboat Station. Are you kidding me? You're actually there. You're going to see. I'm actually. You're going to see sunset. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm going to have a little walk down. It's very pretty, and uh, I'm here. I'm done. Uh, where are you? I'm an hour and forty-four minutes away from the hotel because I've. From, the hotel's not far from where you are, is it? No, no, actually. You've got the address for the hotel, so you could do me over here by not actually telling me where the hotel is. Because <laughs> you booked it. <laughs> well, it's uh, St. Is it St. David's Hotel or something? What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. But, I mean, you, it's at least 15 minutes from St. David's out to the lifeboat station anyway, so you're two hours behind me. Well... <sighs> I'm two hours behind you, and that's for charging. So, I'll tell you what I've... Do you know what? I'm, I'm so disheartened. I've got the camera on here, and I'm trying to put up a front to make it sound really good, but to be honest, I'm... I'm really... Can I cheer you up? Yeah, cheer me up. Have you looked at the back of your car? Yeah, there was a little thing that stuck on it. I took it off. Was that something to do with... What was that? You know when you were at the service station chatting to your MG man? Yeah. I was at the service station. You was at the same service station? I hid from you. You went through the door to the service station, right? And as you went through the entrance, if you'd look to the right, I was hiding behind the pillar. Really? <laughs> and I got it all on camera. Did you put that... Uh, I did you put that sticker up, that suction thing, on my back window there? Oh, was there no sign on it? No, there was no sign. It was just a suction thing. Oh, uh, it come off then. I put a new, I put a new driver thing on the back of your car. I bought this earlier on for just this sort of situation. So I'm going to go pop it on Lee's car while he's having a wee. A new driver. <laughs> I did. It was just a suction. That I'm thinking, what is that? Has it blown on in the wind or something? But it was I... so funny. You'll see it in my video because at that point I didn't know where you were. I knew we were close, but I didn't know where you were. So I thought, right, I'm going to stop and grab a coffee because I was desperate for a coffee and a wee. And then I was talking about, I wonder where you are. And then you bloody pulled up, didn't you, at the charging point? But then when you moved, because you moved charging points, didn't you? And I was watching all of this. Yeah. And I thought. I thought he's seen me, he's tweaked that I'm here, and he's, and he's off. He's seen that I've stopped for coffee, he's, he's, he's sort of logged me, and now he's going to leave. And then you move to the next charge, and I thought, no, he hasn't seen me, I'm okay here. And so then I thought, I'm going to run inside, I'm going to get a coffee, and I'm going to get out of here quick. And you put a new driver sticker on my car. I wondered yeah. what that and was. You'll see it all on my video, it was so funny. Oh. Um, I was so shocked to see you there. I don't know how I caught you up, because I obviously went halfway to London and then met you there, so... That's yeah. That's, that, oh, that's cheered me up a little bit. Although, I have to say, yeah. I just... I, I mean, it just... I can't get my head around the fact now, and I know, even though an evangelist has helped me out, right? Yeah. I can't, I can't get my head around the fact that people still think that electric cars are the future. And it doesn't make any sense because they clearly are not. The thing is, um, I was expecting this to be more difficult than it was. I've got to be honest, this is the easiest one we've done for me. And I think it's part of the job. Um, it's big and powerful and it's quite imposing on the road. And if it wasn't for lorries and bad lane discipline on the A14, it would have been a completely walk. I mean, it's been a walk in the park anyway. I've been on two hours ahead of you. 
you know, you'll have to send me a photo send me a photograph of you and the sunset and I'll put it on my video because I'm not going to see it. Yeah. This, uh, are you going? And, and is this? Are the, are the skies clear? No, it's extremely cloudy. There's a few clear bits. Um, but it's it's not blue. But I think I think we will get a sunset. I just pulled up my my notes now. Four eleven p.m. is the sunset. So I've arrived at about half past eleven. Yeah. Um, give or take a little bit more than that so it would have been very very difficult for you to get here for a sunset if even i've only managed to do it for 20 minutes left yeah it's, it's it's not possible at all it goes to show yet again and i actually was really really hopeful and quite positive about it when i set off um yeah but yeah there we go uh it's, right. it's not to be well, send i'm gonna have a little walk around you some photos. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you. Well, I'll see you at the hotel when you get there. Text me the details to the hotel and I'll, I'll go get the first two beers and I'll probably be drinking those and then I'll get some more when you get there. I actually thought I was going to get to the blooming hotel before you. I thought, well, I'll just go straight to the hotel, but it looks like not. So, crazy. Right. Again, it's 4-0. Um, it's, 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 it's 4 nil. Next year, like the 2024 season of YouTube car challenges, that might be your year. 2024 could be the year of the EV. I'm going to get a long range Tesla and prove you wrong. All right, I'm up for that. Your long range te Tesla against my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> right, right I've got to go. I need to I'll speak to you in a bit. Onwards. See you later. Bye. There you go. Yet again, we um, yet again the electric car loses, and it proves it's not the future once more. We've got a bridge here. Is what is why is this bridge that we're going over here? Um, oh, and he's actually going to get a pint before me as well. What unbelievable, unbelievable! Come on, onwards. Right, I'm going to pull in, have a wee. I've got another 60 miles to go, hour and 20 minutes. Jeff's already going to get there, we obviously know that, but I do need a wee. They do have some grid surf chargers here, but I'm not going to charge because I've got 141 miles of range and I just want to get to the pub, go and have a bite to eat and uh, film a video on, uh, on some dinner. Right, services, let's go and have a wee and then get back on the road again. Right, getting dark, obviously, uh, well, sunsets in two minutes. I missed it. Right, toilet, then back on the road. Oh dear. There seems to be a theme here of me losing all these, all these contests. I'm just losing all the time. Maybe I should rent a Tesla or something. Anyway, if you want a grid serve charger, there's one there, look, and there's nobody on it. I wonder whether this one's actually um, high powered one or not. This grid server, I don't think it is. Here are, look, here we go. Hey, look at this as well. There's also, look at this. Just quickly look at this. Don't go anywhere, have a look at this, right? Here we go. Whoop! Don't want to slip. Just look at this car here. It's a bit broken, look. Look at this car. I think it's a bit damaged. It's been in a bit of an accident, this one has, look. Here we go. Wow, look at that. 
not even any window in it look that has had a bit of a crash right need a wee I might have to have a sausage roll or something as well right okay so what do we got 60 miles 60 miles left 100 and uh, 1 hour and 23 minutes 5.34 we should get there at least I got my monster munch look at that I tell you what a grab bag right look how much is in this that is all that's in them that's not a grab bag if that's a monster it's not a very big monster is it right onwards my friends So we're going west and what a beautiful sky. Look at that. Missed the sunset, but look at it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I wish that I've seen the sunset. Red sky, just look at that. I missed it. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so I'm here at the hotel. Uh, we're gonna go and see Jeff. Uh, milk flow off, I'm really tired. It's now 5.41 and uh, I'm shattered. I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Apparently that's the closest thing to, uh, uh, you know, be getting excited. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if there's any truth in there. Let's get inside, go and see Jeff and uh, wind this video up, I'm shattered, come on. Right, I made it eventually. Yeah. You you got to see the sunset. Do you want to see it? The sunset. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna show me the sunset. Right. Tell your viewers how your trip was. Well, I've have you sent me the photo of this? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. If you send me the photo of the sunset, I can overlay the picture of Hang the on, sunset. I just want to show you. Look. He wants to show. He wants to rub it in. You. That's what he does. He wants to rub it That's in. That's what you miss. Look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't wow. That nice? There we go. I'll overlay that if you yeah. send me that. I'll send you all those. Yeah. So, did I was you there for ages? I went to the sunset. I walked down there. I even had time to remove some of the social distancing signs that don't need to be there anymore. All <laughs> oh, right, did, do, you, did do, your bit. Did my bit, yeah. For humanity. They don't need to be there, do they? Social distancing yeah. is over. So, what have we actually learned from this trip this time? Uh, everybody should own a BMW X5. And not, not own an EV. Although, I did meet some evangelists, which you saw. You saw all this. Thing is, even if you had done it cheaper than me, Right, let's say... I didn't. I think when we do the maths, you won't have done. No. But let's let's pretend that it cost you zero, right? Okay. Let's okay. just pretend, for the sake of it, all your charging was done at home and it cost you nothing. Yeah. You've got solar panels, right? Yeah. I still got here two hours before you, and I saw the sunset and the sea, Yeah. and I had a pint and a half, and how much is that worth, really? Is it, is it, it's life to touch and time. How, how much do you value your time? I know. Right, and, and this is basically, and by the way, Instavolt, majorly expensive, right? Is it? Yeah. Shame on you, Instavolt, say it. Well, shame on you, Instavolt. This was the one near Monmouth. It's from where around, I don't know where we are. Didn't you we? were basically in the middle of nowhere in that bit between Hereford and Proper Ways. Yeah, it, yeah. How much did it. you pay there? Uh, 55 pounds or something, I think it was, wasn't it? Ridiculous amount. Shame on you, Instavolt. Say it again. Shame on you, Instavolt. Can you do it with some... <clears throat> shame on you, Instavolt. I reckon you've spent quite... Uh, yeah, and... We'll do that in the... It's absolute madness, basically, yeah. really. So, yeah. There you go. Wow. So, if, and the guy I saw, by the way, who was the evangelist. Yeah, with the MG. Always, 
what is it? Always be charging. ABC, right? always be charging. Yeah, yeah. Right. But he's, he's a lovely guy, by the way. He's watching. Life's Do you want to say hello to You probably saw him, actually. Hiya. You look like a lovely bloke when I watched you from across the car park when he didn't realise I was there, even though if he'd opened his eyes and taken his eyes for his camera, he would have seen my car. <laughs> ah, you think, well, I never know what car you've got, so it's a different this one. This is true, this is true. <laughs> I think, oh, BMW 3, no. Do you know what I nearly did? This Go is on. quite funny. I actually, two things. I phoned the wife at the yeah. midpoint, after I'd seen you at the service station and I knew I was ahead, yeah. I phoned the wife and I said, do you want to go for lunch, right? Do you know what she said? She what? said, no, nah, you're all right. Really? Because <laughs> <laughs> we worked past Worcester, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I thought I could meet my, my wife, we could yeah. have a half hour lunch together. Yeah. And then I thought, do you know what I could do? And this would be really funny, I could swap cars. I was oh. going to go home and pick up a different car and finish in a different car. That would have been quite funny, actually. But it would have meant me missing the sunset. So uh, I went for the sunset and we finished in the X5. We did. So I was about two hours later than you. Yeah. So uh, to sum it all up, basically, electric cars, again, are crap. Uh, if you've got somewhere to be. Yeah. And if you haven't got somewhere to be, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> if you've got nowhere to be, right, if there's nothing in your life that's actually important or that matters that you need to get to, yeah. of any destination, like if you're going to a destination that you don't particularly want to go to, yeah. get an electric car. There you go. So for our next challenge, right, what you need to do is you need to be like, right, Jeff, the next YouTube challenge, we're going to Stroud. Yes. I've been, and I'll be like, I've, I've been to Stroud yeah. in my electric car. There's a Premier in there. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do Stroud to Milton Keynes, and it won't matter if it takes us three days because there's nothing at either of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Journeys that don't matter, yeah. use an electric car. There you go. Anyway, have a look at Jeff's journey, which was a lot shorter than mine, and you'll see him spying on me as well. It was a moment. I'm, I don't know if I've got to edit this out right. I wasn't driving aggressively in my X5, even though an X5 makes you drive aggressively. But there was a moment when there was a, an electric Skoda Enyaq uh -huh. in front of me, and I was filming forwards, yeah. and I thought, it was a green car, I was like, I'm going to get a good reflection off the back of this Enyaq, I'm going to flash him out of the way, yeah. and move him over in uh -huh. my X5. That's what you can do in an X5. You can do you that can in an do X5. It in an X5. Get out yeah. of the way, yeah. get out of it. But you, as soon as you climb in an X5, you become that Aggressive, person. aggressive. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So we've learned that X5 drivers are aggressive. They're all knobs. Right. And I am now one. EV drivers are nice. They are nice. But the, yeah. the evangelists are going to be nice. It's like it's like going to a church. They're all nice. Yeah, that's They offer right. you cake and yeah. tea and, yeah. you know, things like that. Because they just want you to stay at church. They just the want thing. you to they stay. just want you to stay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's it. That's all. I feel like we today. have learned some valuable lessons we today. We have actually, yeah. We've learned life lessons today. I do have a problem though. What? My arm's aching now. Do you want to hold that? Yeah. There you go. After we did the John O'Groats to Land's End trip, yeah. I fell in love with the car and kept it. Yeah. Oh, you did not fall in love with this car, have you? I phoned the wife earlier on. Do, 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 do. We've got a big road trip coming up to Northumberland for Christmas, well, yeah. for New Year. Yeah. And uh, I phoned her and I was like, darling, we're going to have to take the X5. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're gonna be a you're a BMW BMW family, hey? fanboy. That's what you like. He's a fanboy. BMW fanboy. BMW boy. fanboy. Yeah. But all the cars that I've bought for these challenges have been German, haven't they? They have. Yeah. We're gonna have to branch out in the new year. My my Porsche is not German. 2024 is your year. Uh, I feel like it is for challenges. Yes. Yeah. When we do Stroud to Milton Keynes, <laughs> or, or uh, what about Leicester to Nottingham? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll I, don't, work. I don't want to go to either of those places. <laughs> I'm not bothered about winning. But yeah, I'm the first one to Leicester. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a plan. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching our videos and all the videos we've done this year. Although yours is going out and maybe the new year. Or before. I can't remember. Whenever. Yeah. Somewhere right. Festive season. Have a great new year, whether that's 2024 or 2025. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, evangelists, in your face and i did try my best for you actually you I did, did. yeah did. I, I laughed my butt off when i was sat at that service station and then you pulled up as well can't believe it didn't work and i hid from you behind the pillar and i what i filmed you going into the service station you didn't see but me you saw me having an issue with the charger yeah yeah i was dying and you'll see that on my channel um make sure you hit like and subscribe and leave a comment yeah and Hit the bell, do all the stuff, basically. Do all the stuff do and subscribe the... to us both. Can I have a beer now? Do all the stuff. Yeah, you can have a beer. Brilliant. See you later. Bye. <laughs>